Hello vlog! Oh, Guess where we are? I'm back in Orlando, baby. So Lucy and I booked these flights on a whim um, on Black Friday, Black actually. Friday. We Black got Friday deals. Banging deal. And our Universe Line Your Pass is still active. Lucy's still a cast member, so she gets free Disney tickets. We've got 50% off this All Star Sports Hotel, so we are literally, we've just had to pay for the flights and food. Bargain. Not had to pay for Disney tickets, not had to pay, I hope that doesn't come across like we're boasting. We're very, very grateful because obviously that's insanely lucky. Um, Lucy looks so put together and so glam. <laughs> I've been awake since 5.30 this morning. Literally, I slept until 7.30, like I think I did all right, to be fair. Yeah, I was just sat there thinking about Universal. Yeah, that's where, if you can't tell. Well, yeah, I've not really got anything. That's about. where we're going today. <laughs> um, we're going to UniV today, which we're so excited for. It's actually really strange. It's what time are we on right now? You got yeah half like that's the most complicated. <laughs> Look at Lucy's watch face. It's Mickey, but that is the most complicated thing I've ever seen. <laughs> that's just showing us. It's twenty past eight. <laughs> so it's it's early, but we're gonna go to uni when it opens at nine. Um, but we're only actually four hours behind the UK instead of five, which it was last summer, because um, daylight savings haven't come back. Yeah, the, the UK. Yeah. The UK has it has yet, here um, this weekend. So yeah, the UK is not yet gone sprung forward. So that happens the weekend that we go back. So this entire time that we're here, um, we get to be just four hours behind the UK, which is really really nice. So um, I'm not going to film as much in the parks this time, just because I did a lot of that last summer, and you guys have already seen that. If you do want to see that, make sure you go check out my other videos because there is lots of them. Um, it's going to be just more like just us soaking up everything else like they'll put a few clips in but i'm not going to do like park days so i'll like i'll show you like my highlights of being in the park but i'm not going to show you absolutely everything um obviously i'm gonna go to all universal today magic kingdom tomorrow i'm gonna see my love captain jack sparrow um what else are we doing this week we looking at doing volcano bay mm -hmm. just because it's literally 31 degrees celsius here at the minute so we'd yeah. be stupid not to not to do it and we didn't do it last summer did we no we didn't so um cowboys yeah. trip cowboy six times we're only here for two weeks and we're gonna do it six times thursday yes, friday saturday thursday friday saturday um what else this week um, mainly just making the most of universal because it's mardi gras at the minute exactly there, so yeah there's a few block out dates but... yeah we're blocked out for the whole of universal next week which how lucky is that that we weren't we timed not, it well yeah we didn't know that when we booked it like that we were going to be blocked out but imagine if we'd have come next week then we'd have the whole yeah. two weeks we wouldn't have been able although to we got universal. told that it's going to be quite busy because of spring break yeah to spring break but um we're gonna go go get some breakfast um we're saying all star sports i don't know if i said that but um yeah, I'll quickly show you our room and then we're gonna go, baby. So as you come into our room, we've got two double beds here. Mine actually pulls down from this big thing here. You can have the option of putting that up and then it comes with a table and two chairs, which we've just put down there. Um, lovely TV that you can like airplay stuff to. So you can play stuff from your phone onto the telly or obviously just watch normal TV and Disney Plus. And we've got our lovely little fridge. We went to Walmart on the way back from the airport yesterday. Um, we've got plenty of water because obviously here in Florida you cannot drink the tap water. Um, this is my outfit of the day. Oh, lots of mirrors, which is nice. Why do I look like a little square? I've tucked it up, but maybe I don't know if I like that actually. I look a little bit boxy. I'll pull that down actually. I'm not, not vibing with that. We'll just we'll leave it like that for now. Um so this is our bathroom, which is really nice. Got lots of space. Hung all our clothes up there. Ironing board and an iron. Don't know how much of that we'll be doing, but you know. Um, and then in here is just the bathroom. Um, so yeah. I don't know what to do with this top because it's an XL. I bought it for my dad last summer, but it was too big for even dad. Because, I'm sorry, I'm... <laughs> no, it's literally fine. I don't know what to do with this top because it covers my shorts and then I look like I'm... I usually just like tuck it in a little bit so that you can see your waist there on this side and then have it out. A little bit more, side. yeah. I want that a bit more defined. Gosh, guys, problems. That'll do. Yeah. That looks nice, doesn't it? We'll do that. Um, I was planning on wearing a little vest top, but it's currently not that warm. It's about... 16. Oh, okay, it's 16. It's getting warmer. So maybe I'll bring my vest top with me just in case, but yeah, this is cute for now. Right, gonna go. This is where we're staying. We're in this building here. 
around the corner. I know it's beautiful. It's actually it's a little bit chilly. I can't lie. I do have a few goosebumps, but it'll be okay. And then the pool is just just the other side of here. And then where that big star is, that's the main building just over there. But yeah, there's a few different All Star hotels. There's there's this one. This is All Star Sports, All Star Music, and All Star Movies. All Star Movies as well. There we go. There we go. That's another view of the pool and all the buildings. And then uh, this is into the main entrance just here. Oh, this is where oh my days, that's where. We were saying, where is everybody? But it turns out everybody's in here. But we're just gonna go into this food court now. Um, you can get quick service food um, to either take away or bring with you. We're probably just gonna take ours in the Uber. Um, but there's like loads of different stalls and stuff that you can choose from. So yeah, let's go see what there is. We've made it to Universal and it is so busy. It's just after half nine in the morning. The park did open at nine, so it is no wonder it's so busy, but it is rammed. It's also the Mardi Gras event while we're here, actually. Um, it's warming up. We had a really good Uber drive. It's about half an hour from our hotel, and we're gonna go straight to Velocicoaster. <laughs> in Islands of Adventure, and just behind me, you can see Velocicoaster, which we can't wait to go on. It's actually so busy today, guys. Like, busier than any day that we came last summer. But I, I think it's just because like the Mardi Gras event is on, um, but look at the queue. It's outside. Um, it's 145 minute wait for Velocicoaster, guys, which is unheard of. We waited at max 45 minutes last time. Um, Hulk just behind me here. That's 90 minutes. Oh, it's going over the top hat. Did I catch that? Hmm, maybe I just missed that. But yeah, it's gonna be a busy one. But thankfully today's not our only day here at Universal. We get to come back all week if we want to every single day this week so yeah it's so exciting let's wait for hulk it's coming <laughs> let's get on some rides guys three and a half hours later no two and a half hours later not quite that bad two and a half, two and a half hours later we have just got off the last boy well the last coaster that ride is just incredible we absolutely loved it um unfortunately we're doing very requests but just because the queues were so long so we didn't get to go back road, but it was we, we literally had the absolute, yeah, like, because it's just a lap bar, isn't it? Yeah. So like, your the top part of your body is just completely like free, but that's what it's supposed to rectify. It's supposed to rectify like a free fall experience. Um, but we're just gonna go into Hogsmeade now. Gonna get our butter beer. Butter beer, just, we need to just sit down for five yeah, after that ride. <laughs> and then um, we're gonna go onto Hagrid's because we absolutely love it and Lucy's not done it in the dark before so no, maybe we'll come back we and do it later yeah. in the dark as well because it is just this is like this and Velocity Boy are our favourite rides yeah the top two yeah absolutely oh, is it the Madagascar yeah look what it's King Julian <gasps> King Julian oh my gosh my boyfriend's gonna love this there is Hogwarts we have just come off where is Lucy oh she's there um, we have just come off uh, Hagrid's Gosh, can't remember what, even what we've done. There's Boss Coaster over there. Um, yeah, we've just come off Hagrid's, which was amazing. It said the queue was going to be 100 minutes, but it actually was only just, just over an hour. Yeah, so that made our time back from Velocity Boy. Exactly. So now we're going to go on Forbidden Journey, or at least go and have a look at what the queue time's like. The annoying thing is at Universal is that we have to put our phones away, obviously, when we go on the rides. Like, they have to go in a locker, unlike Disney. So that's why I can't really film too much footage of the rides and stuff, but we're having a good day. Good morning everybody, it's now the next day. I didn't actually feel very well towards the end of yesterday. We got an Uber from Universal to Disney Springs and as soon as we got to Disney Springs, I, the jet lag just hit me. So I ended up coming back to the hotel and was asleep by about 7 p.m. Um, but it's now the next day. <laughs> Look where we are, you can see. We are at Magic Kingdom, obviously here with Lucy. Um, we have got Tron book this morning, so we're gonna be doing that pretty much straight away. It's really early, like we got into the park at half past eight, it's now about 10 to nine. Um, so we're just killing some time, taking some photos, and then we're gonna be going on to Tron Light Cycle Run, which is gonna be really exciting. And then, um, hopefully gonna do all the rides that we want to do today. It's relatively quiet so far, I know it's early, but yeah, we're so excited for today. Um, and to go and practice the Caribbean. So we are just sat outside Tron. Oh, it is there, I promise. Um, but we're just sat here contemplating. We are literally in Magic Kingdom for free right now. 
and it's all thanks to this girl right here still working for Disney so we're very very grateful um, shout out to Disney oh the merch guys this year is just it's unbelievable incredible. like which doesn't help my financial savings. this is the thing we both came out saying oh we don't need to buy any merch we bought so much last summer don't need to buy any more things have now changed we are we've already been hooked into stuff and like I've already seen this lounge place a lounge my spirit jersey and ears just the whole side. this whole shebang so I am kind of tempted if there's not a pirates lounge flying I am kind of tempted but these are the views right now we're just outside Tomorrowland castle somewhere over there so we've got literally about five ten minutes to wait and then we're going on Tron my lip lines all over the place also guys I'm not really vibing with my dress so I'm gonna buy a t-shirt I've got shorts on underneath I'm gonna buy a t-shirt and do Lucy's look because Lucy looks like an influencer right now and I look like a six-year-old child so <laughs> currently in the Emporium, thinking of you Caitlin, drinking the nicest drinks in the whole world. They're strawberry refreshers or something. Mm. Absolutely delicious. But looking at the t-shirts, because like I said to you earlier, I'm not really vibing with my outfit. So I want to buy like a really nice oversized t-shirt. Look at Lucy's outfit. Lucy, turn around. Isn't she giving like Sphere from Sphere and Chins again? So yeah. Got my eyes peeled. I think it could end up being an expensive day. That's nice. That is really nice, actually. Convenient as well. And Lucy gets us 20% off, so. All thanks be to Lucy. Mm, it's look where we are. I'm so excited. It's actually crazy being back here. And obviously I was so lucky to be able to do a shift here last summer, but the sky is blue. That is so exciting. I literally cannot wait. Keeping my eyes peeled for Captain Jack Sparrow because he quite often... <gasps> Peter Pan! Peter Pan down there! What? Can you see him? Oh, He's coming! Wow. Oh wait! Peter Pan's knocking about. Can you see him? Peter! Why don't you wait to see him? Look who it is down there. Oh, you can't see him. He is down there. It's the same Captain Jack Sparrow that we met before. And we're gonna meet him again. Hello everybody. So it's now a lot later and we are at Polynesian. We're just doing a little bit of resort hopping. I can't just remember what the last thing I filmed was. Do you remember the last thing I filmed was? Just before Paris, just before meeting Captain Jack Sparrow maybe? But we have literally done so much. We've done, so when we arrived we did, what was the first thing we did? Oh, the teacups. Teacups, space. So teacups, space, Tron. Then we did, uh, we got a Starbucks on Main Street, had a look in the Emporium. Then went on Pirates and met Captain Jack Sparrow. Then we parade. went and watched the parade. Then we went and big had fun, some lunch. Big Thunder and then lunch. Yeah, that? yeah, 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 yeah. No, you're right, you're right. Big Thunder, then had some lunch. Then went into Fantasyland and just sat literally for about 45 minutes to an hour just whilst Lucy charged her phone. There's like charging points all around there. Um, so yeah, sat and did that. That was really nice. And then we wandered into Storybook Circus, did we? Mine Train. Mine Train, we've done so much. I'm literally forgetting what we've even done. Mine Train. Then we wandered around Storybook Circus and now we've come um, on the monorail, just doing a little bit of resort hopping for the afternoon. It's really nice. We've not gone to the Contemporary, but we're at the Polynesian now and then we're going to the Grand Floridian. Um, obviously I've worked at those two locations, so it's really, really nice to be back. The Grand Floridian is my baby because that was my home location, but I did do, I think, two weeks worth of shifts here. Um, but hence why we've got our garlands. which is eating the Dole Whip, which is absolutely amazing. Um, it's beautiful, it's really hot now. It's probably the hottest it's been all day. Um, but we're very happy. I think I'm gonna buy a lounge flag and some ears and a t-shirt. <gasps> but I'm gonna get them at the end of the day. Yeah, so we don't need to carry it around. We don't have to carry it around. But yeah, it's only 24, part lunch up till 11. We've got so much time. 
Um, yeah, we were just saying that this is like one of those moments where like we're gonna look back on and like. Remember when we sat the poly? Yeah, because it's just you mean you can see the sun like it's about twenty seven degrees. It's not baked. Maybe maybe it's borderline thirty now actually. It's such a nice heat as well because there's no humidity. No, humidity is literally like forty six percent. It's nothing. Uh, but we're gonna go and sit on the beach after this because there's a beach here at the poly. There is also one at the Grand actually. Um, FaceTime um, our parents. I might FaceTime Jasper. And yeah, gonna see my old friends at the poly at the Grand Floridian hopefully. But yeah, we're happy. Mm -hmm. Happy and Very well. Happy. <laughs> so the Polynesian is all like Hawaiian themed. It's a lot of like things to do with Lilo and Stitch and Moana. Um, but it's absolutely beautiful. It's got all these, at night time, there's loads of these and they light up with like flames and stuff. Um, so they're really beautiful. And then the pool is just down here. Um, obviously I'm not gonna film too much of the pool, but there you go, massive pool area here and like a little water park for kids here as well. Uh, but the buildings go all the way like round here and then you can just see the Grand Floridian over in the distance and it's super easy to get to because it's literally just on the monorail. And then if you can just see down there, you can just spot the castle as well. Um, and actually, that's just the entrance to Main Street, just there. That's the Grand Floridian over there and the beach where you can, in the evening, you can watch the fireworks of Happily Ever After and the castle's there and they even like play the sounds so you can listen along. This is amazing. So, so lucky. After a wonderful time just being inside the Granny Flow, we have come outside. Look at this, we're actually living the dream. It's just ridiculous. We're actually just here on a random Wednesday. There's um, the kids pool just there. And then the large one is just here. You can just make out the waterfall just there. Um, but I've just had such a nice time. I've just seen so many of my old work colleagues or, or co-workers as they say out here in America. Um, I've just seen so many of them in the, gran the granny flow as we call we just just you wait till you hear what we abbreviate volcano bay to good grief <laughs> not a bulky b <laughs> but um yeah we i've just seen so many people that i know and that i love and it's just been really wholesome actually i've i, I wasn't expecting to see that many people but we got really really lucky and then i've just facetimed jasper for a little bit and whilst i was on facetime the lady on the grand piano started playing pirates of the caribbean which is just insane like what is the timing of that so i was in my old work location facetime my boyfriend whilst pirates was playing and obviously lucy was here as well mm, jokes <laughs> but we're having a wonderful time we're just here at the beach right now and then we're going to go back to magic kingdom after we've been here for a little bit and go on peace pan's flight because we've got a lightning lane book for that and then go and then what was the plan then book. we're gonna go and charge phones after peter pan have something to eat and book go on Haunted Mansion yeah. and then get our spot for the fireworks. And that's it, that's our evening. It's going to be banging. Um, so yeah, catch you in a little bit. Hello vlog. Currently um, on our way to Cowboys, um, breaking every possible Disney loop rule. This, we're in a family resort. I'm covering my chest. Lucy looks like this. She looks absolutely incredible, but it's not very Disney. I'm literally covering my chest with a hat. Um, we're on our way to the Uber. Thankfully, where our room is, there's a little back uh, pathway that we can take down to the front door where the Ubers oh, is. Guys, should we do, do down the hall and round the front there? Hey. It takes us on the car park there, so should we take it this way and then, yeah. Yeah, as I'm just trusting you. But this is... This is terrifying. Those literally small children dressed as Disney princesses right now. We're dressed as Barbie. Yeah, Barbie. Hey, Barbie. That's what we're going with. But pink is the vision tonight, guys. Pink is the theme. Pink is the theme. I just, I'm really praying we don't get told I'm off so for breaking some Disney guidelines somewhere. Ma'am, go and get dressed. Ma'am. <laughs> That's not very Disney friendly. <laughs> Six minutes being sat outside of a Disney resort. It's 
still covering myself up. <laughs> like this. Very but humble. We're very, excited. we're very looking Fully forward to it. Because, yeah, we just want to take it. Take That's not Lucy's plan at all. <laughs> She's a single girl, yeah, she's sure. Great. Um, I'm obviously taken woman by a pirate, happily taken woman by a pirate, I should add. Um, yeah. but, well, but, solo. but, so Lucy's going to do all the work for the, the drinks and I'll just accept whatever's left over <laughs> or by my own. Guys, a literal boss load of people has just arrived. A literal boss. We're on show. We're, I can't play. <laughs> Cowboys, no disciplinaries from Disney. Back to our favourite bartender, Bobby. He's our favourite. He's already f***ed off. Oh, I can't say that on my channel. He's already annoyed. He's already a bit cross. We're having a lovely time. And we look great, arguably. Good morning everybody, it's now the next day. I can't remember what the last thing I filmed was. Um, by the pool, which is really, really nice. Um, we, we felt better, can't lie, I think is the most polite way to put it. Um, I'm, I've literally cannot even eat my breakfast, um, which is ridiculous because I didn't even drink that much. But yeah, I'm feeling a little bit fragile this morning. But it was a really, really good night. Like, I was really nervous before wait. we went. What? Oh, great night. I thought uh, you said wait. <laughs> um, yeah, I was really nervous before we went, but it actually ended up being really good. Um, we got to see lots of old friends, like people who we met when we were out here last summer, and it was just good fun. Um, doing it all again tonight, apparently. I don't know how, but we are. We're going to end Saturday. <laughs> Um, but yeah, we're just gonna sit by the pool for a bit this morning. Maybe go to the outlets later. Um, so we wanna look at some boots, which should be fun. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be a nice chill morning. Hello vlog, so we've just been to the outlets and we're now at this um, store, just a little bit outside of where the international premium outlets are, if anyone's familiar with Orlando. And it's called Boots. Buy one, get two free. And it's, that's the name of the store and it's literally exactly that. So we are currently trying on cowboy boots, but like, look how many there are. The store is huge. Um, absolutely obsessed. These are the ones I'm currently trying on. Hold on, I'm gonna dress up. So they've got like bits of pink in them. Oh my gosh. It's literal artwork. Stop it. Wow. That's stunning. I mean, the boots are like $350, but um, yeah, it's when you split that between three boots, that's not bad. I like these ones as well. Oh gosh, I'm in the best time. Here's a better shot of the ones I'm trying on. It's got like pink glitter. Oh, they're so nice. And then where are the, those red ones? Oh, were they the red ones you were trying on? Yeah. We love decisions because they are expensive, but like, just, I can't get over this shop. They're amazing. Like, I love these ones as well. Also kind of gravitating towards those. Oh, I don't know what to do. Hey vlog. hey vlog. So I think the last time we filmed was in the boot shop. We didn't actually end up getting any boots because they were spenny. And like, although we enjoyed the experience, neither is like, loved loved like fell in love with the boots and at home as well like you don't get price per wear out of them no we're not at all like you're not going to be kicking around manchester i'd like to think i would but in reality probably not but anyway these are our outfits for tonight we'll probably have to stand back a little bit this look at lucy she's gorgeous oh, these are these the boots she looks great i'm going for a much more modest Appearance you tonight, a little and last night. I put my little bandana and my boots, and then I put my hair in a half up, half down tonight. Mm. So cute. So, Paige Brown, if you're watching, thank you for introducing me to this hairstyle. Um, but yeah, we're going to go back to Cowboys tonight. It's Friday night, so it's going to be a little bit quieter. We're much later leaving. It's 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. 
we didn't we we got there at 10 o'clock last night but yeah, we needed to recover yeah and i still feel a bit <laughs> a bit fragile a bit fragile so not drinking tonight. not drinking <laughs> famous last words for her i know I'll, I'll stick to mine if someone offers me a shot i can't say no right there we go um and then tomorrow we're result hopping which we're excited for we're going to see lucy's result which we'll show you yeah of course we'll take you along every step of the way Gavna. see you on the other side yeehaw yeehaw <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Woo -woo. We are currently on our way to, well, we're in a skyliner right now, just going over Hollywood Studios. We're going to be doing um, resort hopping today, which is one of my favorite days in the whole world. I'm so excited. Love it. It's so good. And then Disney Springs this evening. And because we didn't buy any boots yesterday, all the more money to spend on merch, um, we're currently going to our first resort today, to the Caribbean Beach Resort. We will be traveling over the headwaters of the oh, Everglades. Don't, never mind. Um, but yeah, we went to Cowboys last night. We had a sober night, which was like, we woke up feeling refreshed and rejuvenated. So much better yesterday was a heavy day. <laughs> but we, um, yeah, we're so looking forward to like going back to some of our favorite resorts. And like I told you guys yesterday, we're going to go see Lucy's resort that she worked at last summer. Um, we're gonna go to Caribbean Beach Resort, then the Riviera to get some lunch. The Riviera is just beautiful. And then we'll just figure it out from there. And then the day will end at Disney Springs, buying food, Shopping, merch, live music, eating, going to Blaze. Blaze. I'm on a diet of pizza this trip, guys. It's not good. Chips dip pizza. Chips dip pizza. Branched out. No. My tan line is still tan lining. It's gone down quite a lot, though. It's not ideal, but. But we're in really cute dresses today. I will show you them um, when we stand up. But I was just saying that we're channeling Sleeping Beauty right now. We're stopping. No. No. Oh no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, the emergency supplies. Yeah. Oh gosh. Hmm. Okay. Never mind. Um. But I might we re wear this dress to Magic Kingdom one day because it is. It's like a corset. Yeah. It's nice. So anyway. Peace out. See you at Caribbean Beach. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Scary. This is such a beautiful skyliner station. It's amazing. So this is the one we've just come off. And then that one is what we're gonna get onto to go to the Riviera and all those resorts. But um, that way is if you want to go to the Art of Animation and Pop Century. But we're going to Caribbean Beach, which is just over here on the other side of the lake. And I wonder if they'll have any parts of the Caribbean merch in there. That would be awesome. Sure. Look, guys, it's got an actual little beach. Uh, this way. We need to go this way. Okay. We're trying to find the main lobby. But they're so big. Like, there's buildings here, there and all the way down there so it's really really spread out but lucy was just saying about her resort which i keep calling it her resort coronado springs <laughs> but it's um the si like the size of it is the size of magic kingdom which is just incredible oh you can see the riviera hold on just behind this tree can you just see it at the bottom there oh it's a beautiful resort i love the merch for there as well Oh, that looks, is that like the water yeah, park? There. Yeah, so that's where we're going. Awesome. And we are here at the Caribbean Beach Resort. So just, oh, this is cute. This is the lobby. Oh, it's nice and cool in here. Wow, it's really big. It goes all the way down there. That's the food dining restaurant. And then there's a shot there, Calypso Trading Post, which we will no doubt go into. This is really fun. It's got these like fan things just up there. Oh, 
Hello vlog. <laughs> Put it down here. Um, so I've not really filmed since this morning because I actually ran out of charge, but we've been to Caribbean Beach, Riviera, Boardwalk, Yacht and Beach, and now we're here. Um, and here is Coronado Springs. I have never been here before. Obsessed. It is amazing. It's so modern. Yeah, it's it's huge. Like it's absolutely enormous. Lucy wasn't even kidding. I can't wait to go and see like the pool and everything. But the lobby and everything, it's just amazing. We're currently at the restaurant that Lucy worked in, having some sangrias. <laughs> so that's exciting. But um, I'll show you the views. Can't wait. So the restaurant that we're at is right out on the lake. That's the main entrance there. And it goes all the way around there. And all the way around the other side of this building as well. It's crazy. This is our lovely sangria tree. Are we going to be able to walk afterwards? Maybe not, but. Probably not. <laughs> Currently at Disney Springs in Blaze Pizza, which is my favourite place on the entire planet. You literally just build your own pizza. It's dirt cheap. Look at this one that I'm going to do. I'm just doing the one topping one. 9.95, so that's about what, seven quid at Disney for a full pizza. Oh, these are my favorite kind of evenings. And the sun is like shining, so warm. Oh, it's amazing. So I've got my pizza. I've just got the classic ham and tomato. And Lucy's gone for, wow, everything. Yeah, literally everything. Literally everything. And a salad as well. And then we've just got a couple of drinks. And yeah, these are the views. And then we're gonna go do some more shopping, but this is our favorite place in the whole world. We're so happy. Good evening everybody. Hi, we have not filmed all day because I am rubbish. Uh, but we've been at Uni V for the last day today. But we've done so much. We literally got there for half past nine. We did Velocity Coaster twice, Hagrid, Forbidden Journey, uh, uh Jurassic Park, Popeye, Ripsaw Falls, we did all the water rides today. Soap. Hence why my hair is kind of curly, but I'm kind of vibing with it. Hence why my hair is slicked, slicked back. <laughs> <laughs> um it's St. Patrick's Day today. So we're just going to Disney Springs again for the second night on the run. So can't stay away. We just cannot stay away. Uh, but I'll I'll do an outfit of the day in a moment when we get to the bus stop. Um, but we're just walking past the pool again. I feel like I only vlog when <laughs> we're going down here. It's the only point I remember to do so. But yeah, there is an Irish bar actually at Disney Springs. So we're going to be going there this evening. And it should be good vibes. <laughs> So we are currently out for St. Patrick's Day. We're in Disney Springs and that's where we are. I can't remember where we were. And we've been really lucky. We've got seats everywhere else. Everyone else is standing, but we've managed to get seats. And we're watching the most amazing band ever. And now they're doing Ed Sheeran. and um, has got complimentary tickets so we've been very lucky and obviously we've saved on 
universal passes as well. So we are two very lucky girls, two very um, poor girls now. <laughs> but we're not complaining because like we've actually had the best time. And um, yeah, but a couple of updates from um, the last few days. So we actually got followed at Disney Springs. Like I look awful right now. We're so sunburned. <laughs> In, in between my chest here, so burnt. Basically, we went to Disney Springs. Today was it? Tuesday? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, it was just a normal day, isn't it? We literally just went for the evening. And we went literally, if you're familiar with Disney Springs, like we were watching um, the band on the stage having a Starbucks. And then we decided, let's do a lap around Disney Springs. Yeah, Try and stuff on like yeah we weren't just nipping in these shops we were like taking our time we got a whole evening to spend and we were going like we went to the toilet like two three times and um yeah what happened was lucy you say it you. so basically we were on the bridge near raglan road mm. don't know if you've been to this place, but i'll set this in and i could feel a presence close behind us and it turns out it was a solo Didn't notice anything, none the wiser. Yeah, because it's Disney, you, you don't think like, like that. Normal, like, yeah. Normal. And you think as well, like Disney Springs, like like we said, busy, surrounded by family. It's just not what you'd expect. So once Lucy bearing mind this is after like an hour yeah, of us. going into girly shops so yeah. there's no need for him to be going to these shops like like no judgment on people who do go like males who do go in feminine shops but like don't know it just it was it was just a bit strange yeah. that he was following us to the exact shops that we were going into anyway lucy then whispered to me after about an hour saying um i think maybe i think we're being followed i didn't believe her at first i was like surely not so we decided to test it make an abrupt turn to go to our favourite shop. So we were walking and then took an abrupt turn to go towards this other shop. And he did the abrupt turn and followed us, at which point we, we were certain. So we went into the shop and Lucy did the absolute right thing, spoke to the staff asking for Disney security. And I was like, peeped through the window, bang man, it's now dark. Like the, the whole sun has gone down in the time that this guy has been following us. And I, like peek through the window and he was literally sat on the wall outside the shop waiting we for us. us. So we, like, we had to hide in the changing room while security came and mm. kind of sorted him out and escorted him off, made the arrest. Mm. So thankfully, you know, Lucy played it exactly right, did the right thing, waited until like he didn't make a scene, he didn't approach him, say anything to him, literally got Disney security and they like, you know, escorted him away two photos of his passport, his driving licence, like, he probably won't be allowed back on Disney property now, but like, yeah, I know if it was me, I would have been more feisty about it, so I, I'm taking notes, and you should all take yeah, notes. It's just the thing of, like, you never know who's around, because it is a theme park, you can't forget that people are always there for the right reasons. That's the thing, and particularly Disney Springs as well, where you don't need a ticket or a security search, you can just go in. So yeah, that was our interesting evening on Thursday and there's been like a couple of other like interesting moments to say but we've had a great time um we our flight should be well it should have been eight hours 20 minutes but it's actually gonna be seven hours 45 so that's a win and we've got roads to yeah we've literally like plane is like mostly empty so yeah well we're gonna sign off now because we're tired we're gonna watch some films well, thank you so much for watching, guys. Sorry I've not really filmed this second week. Obviously, we're on holiday. We're just trying to stay up as much as possible and be present. Um, but yeah, if you did enjoy this video, please make sure to give it a like and subscribe. That would be amazing. And yeah, we'll see you all very, very soon. Bye.